will get started in about six minutes. So just to remind you of what we need, weights, a mat, something sturdy, like a chair, a countertop, something just to use to help with balance. Um, yoga mat, weights, your sturdy chair. But more importantly, do you have the drinks or have the recipe ingredients for the drink later? Because I know that's the only reason why you guys are showing up. I'm kidding. For the workout too. But. Hey everybody. We will get started very soon. Start to set up your spot. Get any kids out of the way or maybe get them involved. You can use small animals for weights. Just kidding. Maybe not. I mean, if your animal can stay there when you do this. If there's anything I need to know, um, maybe your back is hurting you or maybe your shoulder is hurting you, leave it in the comments so I know any... I'm here for the drinks. <laughs> yes, you are, Isabel. Um, but, uh, but um, yeah, if you have any issues, like something going on, something feels a little funky, just put it in the comments now so I'm aware of it and I'll make sure I have a modification for you. I always put in modifications. So um, even if you join a little bit later, you're seeing this on the repeat, I will have a modification for you. Don't you worry about that. My issue is not enough, Donatella. Ah, oh, Jason, my issue is not enough. Jason, like the movie, but not so scary. <laughs> uh, more bar. I'm doing bar every day, guys. Because what else is there to do? And drinks. I'm very excited for this one. And... I'll probably say this later, but those of you that are on here now, the, champ the champagne bottle I'm gonna be using was a gift that I never opened. One of the many champagne bottles I got when I got engaged in November. So I'm gonna be celebrating my engagement that happened in November with you guys by opening up this bottle. So, it'll be fun. Hey, Charlie. And I know that the music is probably a little bit low. Um, I am just using a Spotify, Spotify playlist um, that we're allowed to use per Instagram. Um, it's royalty free. So it's, if you just look up royalty free, that is the one I'm using. But if you want to use, music is fine, cool. Um, if you wanna use any other music, feel free. You just wanna make sure you hear me. I miss you too. I miss everything about Chelsea Piers. I was, I always liked work. So, I always loved going into work and seeing everybody. So I'm definitely missing all those faces, all the adjustments that I wish I could be giving you. Um, I'll be giving you verbal and visual cues and adjustments. Um, obviously I can't see you, so I'll try to create the, the adjustment for when I need it, because if I'm doing something, you're probably doing something that you need an adjustment for. So, I'm excited to get started. My second class of the day. It's my favorite class because of the drinks. <laughs> hey, Jen. And I'm totally taking Nay's class after this if I can grab my fiance and we can do a little dancing in the living room. So after this, there's that tango, tango, I think. Tango. What do you need? You need weights. Uh, if you don't have weights, you can use um, 
same size water bottles or canned goods, a mat, and then like a sturdy chair or the back of a couch or a counter or a table. You just don't want anything with wheels on it. Um, so something sturdy. I have a bar, but that bar isn't attached to the wall, so it acts just like a chair. It just looks kind of fancier. And it was a gift. Because what else do you get a bar instructor for Christmas? Thanks to my sister and my fiance. Yay, Tango! I'm totally coming. I'm totally gonna do it. Maybe that'll that'll be how we uh, learn to dance for our wedding in October. Hopefully, it's still gonna be going on. Same amount of people. All right, it is six o'clock, guys. Let's get started. So make sure you have everything set up. Make your way to standing. I am going to start my timer so we, I keep you on time. And that's how I hit start. Let's get started. I'm gonna back up and we're gonna get started. Feet are hips distance, toes forward. Start with three big inhales. We're gonna inhale, find length. Exhale, relax the shoulders, ground down. Two more, we inhale, lengthen. Exhale it out, press the space away. One more big deep breath and inhale. Find that big inhale, exhale. Now we're gonna step it wide. You are going to find a wide turned out position. So notice my toes are in complete opposite directions. My heels are in. And I'm gonna start to sink a little bit lower. Think about widening the sits bones behind you to get a little bit lower. Now I'm gonna go into profile so you can see this. Make sure we're not bringing our shoulders forward. Take your hands to your ribs. Inhale, expand the rib cage. Exhale, press the ribs back, bring the shoulders over hips. Sink a little bit lower. Reach your arms out. Pull the shoulders down and away. Draw the navel up and in. Sink a little bit lower, press the knees back. Little rib isolations, make sure the hips and thighs don't move. Reach your right rib up and over to the right, and then to the left. It's right and left. And then think about opening up your hips. Just think about your mind's eye and everything opening up here. Getting a little bit oblique and abdominal work here. Sink a little bit lower. We hold through center in five, in four, in three, in two. Last one each side, hold through center, little presses here. Little down, little up. Little down, little up. Keep the arms nice and strong. Maybe you make fists to really find that engagement. So if you don't have weights, definitely make fists. We don't need weights now, but if you don't have weights at all, and you're using canned goods, get every inch out of your arms. So squeeze the muscle bone, ribs press back. You know what? If you even have weights, you're doing this too. Press the knees back, draw the heels in, find that zippering off the pelvic floor, and hold it down in five, four, three, two, one, hold it down. We're gonna pivot to our right. So I'm gonna pivot to where you see this diffuser to my right. We're gonna pivot and find a lunge. Now both toes in the same direction, 90 degrees with the back knee, 90 degrees with the front. Open back up, find that wide turnout. Now to the left where my bar is. We go to the left, let's pick it up. It's center, down. It's center, lunge left. It's okay to bounce between sides. Maybe you've been sitting all day working from home and you really need to open up your hip flexors here. Start to get some nice movement. Relax the shoulders. Find length of the sides of the waist. We're gonna go one more each side. One more to the right. One more to the left. Hold through center, little down, little up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, hold. Now we're gonna pivot to the right to where you see this diffuser. Pivot to the right, take your hands down to the floor, step your right leg back. Wrist underneath your shoulders for a second. And then you lower down to your forearms. Keep your elbows underneath your shoulders, palms pressed into your mat. Do not bring your hands together. Jawline pressed back, ribs pressed back. Belly button pulls up and in and squeeze right above the knee from the thighs. We're gonna take tiny little hip dips. Your right hip, the heels don't move. So you're gonna take a slight dip to the right. Back in through center, so dip down to the right. Find that right oblique, right. And center, four more, three more, two, last one. Now you're gonna hold through center and you're gonna set your feet as wide as your mat. You're gonna take your right forearm 45 degrees and you're gonna open up to your left. Reach your left fingertip to the ceiling. Lift the hips. Option to step that right foot out in front or that top foot out in front. Or you can drop that back knee. Pick your option. 
Feet are staggered for that advanced position. Now lift the hips. Reach your left arm towards your head. Pull the elbow in as you lift the hips. Reach. Pull in. Reach. Right shoulder, not by your ear. It's down by your elbow. So you think about drawing it to your elbow. Get it away from your ear. Two more. Last one. Hold that reach. Draw that left shoulder down and away. Come back in through center. Drop your knees for just a moment. Press it back. Back in through center. Lengthen the tailbone. Pull the shoulders down and away. Belly button up and in. Back of the head lifts. Knees lift. Left hip. We drop and center. Little tiny drop towards the floor. If your heels are moving and find this huge movement like this, that's not what we need. A small dip. Navel in. Heart is lifted. Three, two, last one. Feet are as wide as your mat. Left forearm comes in 45 degrees. You open up. My back is to you. I'm going to talk louder. Lift your hips. Set your feet. Right here. Reach your top arm towards the head. Pull the elbow in. Lift. Reach. Pull in. Find your left oblique to work here. Lift up from the bottom. Take that left shoulder away from your ear. Four. Three. Two. Last one, hold that reach. Come back in through center and do not drop your knees. We hold. Chin is off the chest. Pull the elbows in towards your heart. Shine your heart through. Pull the navel up and in. Squeeze right above the knee, firm the thighs. Energy out through the heels, out through the crown of the head. We hold for four, three, two, one. Drop your knees. Toes the other knees apart. Very nice job. Walk your hips back. Take your hands wider. Press your chest to the floor. Let the crown of the head release. And now roll on up. And you're going to swing your legs forward, squeezing your ankles, knees, and thighs together. So from the toes, all the way through the groin, you're squeezing them together. There is no separation. And you're physically pressing them together. Your thighs know nothing about social distancing. Capture your shins, lift the heart. Reach the crown of the head long. Ground down through your sit bones as you pull the belly button away from your thighs. Shoulders up, back, and around. Take your hands behind the knees. Elbows are open. I'm going to go a little bit more profile so you can see this. Lean back in a neutral spine. And then tuck your hips and find that high part of the sacrum. So what's the high part of the sacrum? Closest to your waistband. You will find that you're sitting on a flat bone. Squeeze your knees and thighs together. Ground down through your feet. Pull the belly button up and in. Drawing presses back. Reach your tailbone towards your heels. Reach your tailbone towards your heels and hold. Ribs press back. Now we're going to find a curl. Press your front ribs down and round and curl. Make sure you're not bringing the neck down. We tip and curl. Keep doing it. I'm going to stand up so you can see this a little bit better. So squeeze your thighs. You find that tip. We're high on the sacrum. Pubic bone, pubic bone comes to your belly button. You pull the navel up and in, ribs press down. So it's tip and curl. Tip. Curl, relax the shoulders. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold that tip. Now just squeeze your thighs in. So I'm going to face you. Squeeze it in. 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 Notice my thighs are not separating. I'm trying to go through the other. And as you do, find that zippering of the pelvic floor. If you're zippering up your pants, hold that squeeze in four, three, two, one. Now release your left arm. And then tip and curl. Tip and curl. That added more weight. The option here to release that right. Integrate the arms into the shoulders. Pull the navel up and squeeze the thighs even further. We have four more. We reclaim our thighs in three, two, last round. Reclaim your thighs. Take your hands to the left side of your thigh. Twist to the left. Make sure the knees don't move to the right. Go right in through center. Option, if you need something a little bit more advanced, extend that left leg. Knees and thighs touch. Twist to the left. Just twist left and hold. Left for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, hold it here. If your legs separated, press them together or put that left foot to the floor. 
Now release your thighs. Hook your thumbs. We curl it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back or center, both feet to the floor. Hip the hips. Curl the heart. I'm just going to spin around so you can see this. To the right, take your hands to the right thigh. Twist to the right. Option to extend that left leg. And we twist right, right. Press that right rib back. Feel your obliques. Four more. Three, two, one. Now you release your thighs and you hook the opposite way. Pull the shoulders down and away. We curl up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Squeeze the thighs. Last two. Last one. Back through center. Final hold here. Tip the hips. Curl the heart. You've got options. You can stay here. Increase it by lifting your heels. Add on by lifting the shins and really take it to that final level by extending the legs and releasing the thighs. We hold for five, four, heart is lifted, belly button in, three, two, one, cross your ankles. Nice job. Fist on either, si either side, lift your hips. Lower down, and I'm already sweating a little bit. So hopefully you are. All right. And now grab your weights. One of my weights rolled away, so I'm gonna grab my light weights. <clears throat> Place one on each side and come down to an all fours position. Wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Shins root to the floor. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch the back, tilt the pelvis, open up the chest. Let's do that again. Let's exhale, round. Inhale, release. And find that tabletop position. We're gonna find our triceps here in all fours position. You're gonna ground down through your left foot, so press that left shin. Left foot into the floor, right leg reaches behind you. Pull that left hip back, right hip forward. Don't let the right hip drop. You're in line, hip and hip, shoulder, shoulder. Grab your weight. I'm going with my two pounds here. Hike the elbow to the ceiling, reach the arm long behind you. Keep the shoulder square. Keep that left elbow high. Left shin roots to the floor. Bend, extend. A little kickbacks here. Eight. Crown of the head reaches long. Navel up and in. Squeeze right above that elbow when you find that extension keeping a palm higher than the hip on that reach. Three more here, we hold that reach. Two, last one, hold that reach, take a small bend, huge reach. Small bend to the elbow, huge reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now flip your palms to face the floor so knuckles are to the ceiling. Reach your arm out in front of you. Now lift your right leg. You lift leg and arm for eight, Seven, six, five, keep going. Four, three, two, one, hold it there. Ground down to the left leg. Your left arm is going to go out to the left. Your right leg is going to go slightly out to the right. And back and through center. We open. You're keeping your hips square. So as you open up, shoulders are square. And as that right leg goes out to the right, hips are square. Give me three more. Three, two, Last one. Come back into your center. Eight lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. So I'm just going to flip so you can see this other side. Take a cat cow if you need it really quickly and find that tabletop position as you ground down. Navel up and in. Your right shin is now going to ground. Your left leg is going to reach behind you and you're going to tuck the toes. Make sure you're not dropping that hip. Hips are square. Knit the ribs in. Back of the jaw on the head, find the ceiling. Activate the muscles of the back of the neck. Right arm, hike the elbow to the ceiling. Reach that right arm long behind you. Square the shoulders, bend, extend. Now notice my elbow. My elbow doesn't swing forward, it's not dropping. If my elbow swings forward, I'm gonna work the shoulder. I really wanna isolate my tricep as much as I can. Four more here, four, three, two, Last one, hold it here, small bend, big reach. Eight, every bend gets the arm higher, every reach gets the arm straighter. So squeeze and reach, squeeze and reach for four, three, two, one, hold. Relax the shoulders, palm faces the floor. Reach the arm out in front of you. Left leg lifts, bird dog here. We have eight, seven, six. Make sure the back doesn't arch, you're still holding neutral, three, Two, one, hold. 
Now we open up, and I'm hitting my basket. Come back in through the center. Open up to the left with the left leg. Open up to the right with the right arm. Navel up and in. I'll show you in this position. Let's go four more. So I'm not going that wide with my leg. I'm keeping my hips steady. Two more. Last one. We hold here. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Release. Nice job. Drop your weights. Ring out your wrists real quick. And we're going to find a down dog. So tuck the toes, hike the hips, chest to your thighs, reach your heels to the floor, nod the head yes, shake the head no, nod the head yes again, left leg is gonna lift to the ceiling, bend the knee, open up the hips, reach your right rib to the ceiling, come back into center, right leg lifts, Whoop. bend the knee, open up to the right, back in through center, walk your feet to your hands, grab your weights, and let's come into some more thigh work and arm, arm work. So on the ground, my fours, just know I'll probably drop them soon. Because one of my threes rolled away, and I got twos. And if you have no weights and no canvas, nothing, you are going to engage from within. We're going to step wide. Find that wide turned out one more time. Press the knees back, heels towards one another, toes in opposition. Sink low, ribs press back, shoulders down and away. Just bend, extend. Bend, extend, find your bicep curls. Press the ribs back. Reach the crown of the head long. Navel up and in really widen the sits bones behind you and that's gonna find depth. But you press the ribs back so we're not arching the back here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold halfway. Sink lower, bring the elbows in line with your shoulders. Press the arms up as the thighs press down. Eight, seven, six, find length of the sides and the waist. Draw the shoulders down and away. Three, two, one, hold. Open up the arms, pull the shoulders down and away. Do it again from this angle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Chest press as we close and open just for eight, seven. Sink a little bit lower. Ribs press back. Find that nice engagement through the chest on the close. Squeeze the shoulders together on that open. Three more. Two. Hold this open. Bring the elbows by your side. You're going to reach the arms long. You're going to pull it in. We're going to rise on up. Reach lower. Pull lift. Reach lower. Pull lift. On that lift, draw the heels in energetically. Find that zippering of the pelvic floor. Five, we hold the low. Four, three, two, we hold the low. Palms face the floor, just your thighs for eight, seven. I'm gonna drop my weights. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Circle to the back for eight, seven, six, Get a little bit lower, ribs press back. Press the knees back, three, two, one. Get a little bit lower with the thighs. Just eight presses of the thigh, eight thighs, eight, seven, six. One more thing with the arms. We go right into two more sets of thighs after this. Pull the shoulders down and away. Four, three, two, one. Forward circles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, drop your weights. Let's grab our bar. So you're going to find your bar, if you need a sip of water, grab a sip of water. Nice job, guys. So just to let you know, I'm doing this on my iPhone. I cannot see the names from here. So I'm hoping that everybody else that calls out names has a bigger screen. Or they got some eagle eyes, man. All right. Bring your heels together, toes apart. Dime in the knees. Soften the knees, find that neutral pelvis, knit the ribs in, pull the abdominals up and in, reach your arms long, press your fingertips in to the bar, squeeze the heels, lift them, just one or two inches, ribs press back, pull the shoulders down and away, let's find our edge, we lower down four, we lower down three, two, 
One hold, left arm reaches up. Squeeze the heels. Left elbow to left hip. Release. It's left. Release. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that reach. Sink down one more inch. Right arm reaches up. Hold it here. Lengthen the tailbone. Squeeze the heels. Left hand to the bar. Other side, we go right elbow to right hip. Release. So from here, I mean, you could even do this without a bar. This is really challenging the core. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Both arms reach, sink down a little bit lower. Ribs press back, just eight, seven to a hold. If you really have to hold on, hold on. Ribs press back, one more quick set of thighs. In four, in three, two, we hold it here. We hold for five, for four, three, two, one. Rise on up, shake it out. Step your right foot forward, left leg back, full arms distance. You're gonna find a lunge. You're gonna deeply bend, upright lunge to start. Right hip back, left hip forward. Notice my back knee is bent, my right knee is nice. Press your palms into your bar, pull the shoulder blades down and away. Corks through that right hip back and in. We're gonna find rocking horse, this is how it looks. You're gonna bend your elbows, you're gonna lean forward, you're gonna pick up that left foot and kick your butt, come back down. We come in and out, in and out. Just know this bar that I have is not attached to the wall. It is just like a chair. So you don't want to press into it, you press down on it. See how that moves, just to show you? Four more, three more, two, one more here. We hold the back, square the hips, arms reach up, and it's little down, little up, these are the thighs. Round down, ribs press back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold, lift that front heel. We hold for five, four, three, two, one. Rise on up, right to that other side. Last set. Full arms distance, deeply bend both knees. Make sure that front knee does not go past the toes. Square the hips, ribs press back. Scissor the, scissor the thighs, get lower. Here we go, press down on your bar. We come in and kick, press down, in and kick, press down. You also have the option to releve on the front heel. In and back, in and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold the back, square the hips, and it's little down, little up. Reach the arms up for eight, scissor the thighs, get lower. Five, four to hold, three, lift that front heel, two, one, hold, square the hips, scissor the thighs, hold for four, three, two, one, rise on up, move your bar away, we no longer need it. And let's get down to the floor, so inhale the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward, flat back. Fingertips to the floor, nod the head yes. Shake the head no, nod the head yes again. Come down to your mat. Turn to face me, my favorite seated pretzel. So we did a lot of side planks to really activate and strengthen the obliques. So now, you will take your right leg out in front of you. And I want you to use your yoga mat. So I want you to line your shin up with your yoga mat parallel and flex that front foot like you want to scratch your shin with your toes. Find this lift. It should be 90 degrees in front of you. If your foot is too close to your thigh, there won't be enough room to move. Now you're going to capture your left ankle in your left hand. You will literally pick up the knee, muscle behind, and let it fall. Look over your left shoulder. That should be about 90 degrees behind you. Square the shoulders. Belly button up and in. Take your hand, left hand to your left hip. Keep your shoulders square. I want you to squeeze your butt. Touch it, it should be rock solid. Now you're gonna tip that front hip forward and down and release it all the way back. Squeeze the seat forward and down, release it back. So when we're in this position, you're swinging your hip, reaching it forward and down, squeezing the butt and then releasing it back. So what happens is this left hip comes forward and comes back, forward to hips, in line with one another, back. Three more, you're gonna hold that forward. Two more. Last one, hold it forward. 
Now just squeeze your butt without releasing it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So if this was your butt, it's not a squeeze release. Squeeze, hold, squeeze, hold. You can feel it right now. Now as you're just squeezing the butt, keep that front foot flexed. You're a marionette. Find this lift. Ribs press back. Hold that squeeze. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we hold. Take your hands out in front of you. Touch your finger pads. Heart is lifted. Lift your back ankle. Knee is on the floor to start. Shift your weight to the right. Lift the heart. Make sure that left knee is behind the left hip at all times. Lift that back knee. You can shift more to the right, but don't sink. Remember those side arm planks? You want to find it here. Knee is lower than the ankle. Five presses back so it's behind the left hip, and just start to squeeze your butt. Yes, you're going to feel it up the side of the waist. That's why I love it. And the base of the seat. And all you're doing is squeezing. You don't have to worry about pressing back. Squeeze, 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 hold, squeeze, hold. So you can constantly, constantly squeeze that seat. Pull the belly up and in. You need core work here. And if you need to drop the knee, keep the ankle high and just squeeze here. That's fine. There's your modification. If you happen to have a ball, I didn't ask you to have this. Some people might. You can place it right behind the ankle if you happen to have it. Hold that squeeze in. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Make sure that knee is lower than the ankle. We're going to lift from the top of the seat. Just lift. Lift. Notice my knee stays low. Now check your form. Front foot is flexed. Heart is lifted. There is not a lot of range of motion here. Look how little my thigh presses up. That is because I'm keeping everything engaged and square. So there's not a lot of room for it to move. Hold that lift in five more. Four, three, Two, one, hold. Before we get down to our forearm, I want you to try something because you never get better if you don't try. Take your left hand, bring it to heart center. Now bring it back to the floor. Take your right hand, bring it to heart center. Bring it back to the floor. Take both and hold it here. Challenge the core. Now take your right forearm to the floor. Knee on knee, thigh on thigh. Come out of that right shoulder. Remember, like you're in a side plank. Left leg is going to extend out in front of you, straight out in front. Get that leg high. Make sure we're not sinking back. Shoulder, shoulder, hip on hip. Toe to the ceiling. Get it high. We just look for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now rotate that toe toward the floor. Mine doesn't go all the way to the floor, so it's kind of more to the right. We lift for eight, seven, six, five to a hold, four, three, Two, and we hold. Press with the heel. Get the leg straighter and higher. Come out of that right shoulder. Four, three, two, one. Release. Swing that leg behind. Lift the hips. Open up the hips. Nice job. We get right into that other side. So again, left shin in line. Ooh, I can really feel my left seat. We got this. Left shin in line with the edge of your yoga mat. I'm just gonna move my weights away because I won't have room. And now you're going to capture the right ankle. Pick up the knee, muscle it behind the hip. That right knee stays behind the hip. Sometimes I will take a water bottle, and I've done this in class, just to make sure that knee doesn't creep forward. 90 degrees to the front, front foot is flexed. 90 degrees to the right. Square the shoulders. Pull the navel up and in. Take your hand to your hip. Release it back. Squeeze tip forward. Release it back. Squeeze tip forward. Notice my shoulders. They're not moving, but my hip is. Every time. I tip my front hip down and in, my right hip down and in, my seat is squeezing. So this is a time where you don't need to have your hands to the floor. And you can really feel this movement on the right side. Three more, we hold. Two. Last one, hold this tip. Now squeeze, 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 squeeze. So it's that constant squeeze. It's not a squeeze release. Squeeze, hold, squeeze, hold. You can feel it right here. Find length. Think about length, the size of the waist. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and we hold that right hip forward and down. Take your hands out in front of you. Lift that back ankle. Shift your weight to the left. Knee will lift. Knee is lower than the ankle. Right hip forward and down. Squeeze the seat. Just constantly squeeze, 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 squeeze. One side will feel a world of difference than the other. One side is tighter than the other. One side is stronger. That is the world and the body we live in. Very few people, and I've yet to meet them, have been a massage therapist for 18 years or so, around there. 
I've yet to meet somebody that does not have a weaker side. Kind of work on a face. So be easy with yourself. And if you gotta drop a knee, you gotta drop a knee. You just keep squeezing. We have eight, seven. Press that thigh back, ankle higher than the knee. Heart is lifted. Three, two, one, hold. Remember, we're lifting from the top of the seat, not the knee. We lift. If we lift from the knee, that knee lifts and the hip drops back. So we lift. Eight, seven, six, five. Almost done. That drink is so close. Four, three, two, one. Now let's challenge ourselves. Bring one hand and then the other. And now both. Woo. And now left forearm to the floor. Knee on knee, thigh on thigh. Come out of that shoulder. Right leg reaches out in front of you. Press that foot forward. Get the leg high. Toe to the ceiling. We lift eight. Seven, six, make sure you're not sinking back. Remember those side planks we did at the top of class. Prepped you for this. Three, two, one. Now rotate that toe to the floor as much as it can. We lift eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we hold. Reach that leg straight. Come out of the left shoulder. Get it higher. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Release, open up the hips. Beautiful, guys. If you need a quick figure four, just take a quick figure four on each side. So you cross one ankle over the other thigh, and pull that thigh in. All right. But that is enough of working out because that's not why you came, maybe. But that's not why you stayed, right? You stayed because there's a great cocktail about to be made. So let's get this done. I'm actually gonna move you into my kitchen. I just figured it would be nicer. So I'm all up in your face right now. As you see, like, my dog's sleeping. Good thing I cleaned my kitchen today. So, all right. I'm just gonna turn off the music because we don't need the music anymore. How does everybody feel? Good? Yes? You liked it? Hated it? You want me to come back? I think they're gonna have me stick around for a little bit. All right, so get your things, like your ice. So I'm gonna grab my ice, I'm gonna grab my lemonade, and I'm gonna grab my champagne, and all my other fixings are right there. All right. I am excited about this cocktail, let me tell you. For many reasons. One reason, it's champagne. I love champagne. I don't know what I love more, tequila or champagne. All right, here's my ice. So I said to get pink lemonade. I don't have pink lemonade. I have regular lemonade, but it's still gonna be pink, so don't worry about it. And I know that champagne should be in one of these glasses. I'm not gonna put it in one of these glasses because I want more. This is just too bougie at the moment, right? Just for me. All right, so here we go. I promise next time I'm gonna have an actual shaker. So you're gonna grab your raspberries. Even if you're using pink lemonade, you're gonna grab your raspberries, you're gonna throw some at the bottom of your shaker. You're gonna get your muddler, which I have, or you can use the end of a butter knife. And you're just gonna muddle. So this is gonna be, so if you don't have pink lemonade, this will, this will totally make it pink. Um, I said ice, but you know what? I'm not going to use ice. I'm not going to use ice. It waters things down. So, and I'm going to take about a shot. Whoop, I don't, want you, I don't want you to see what's on the front of that shot glass. About a shot, maybe just a scotch bit more of lemonade. <sighs> and then we're going to grab our vodka. So this is not just champagne, this is like the real deal. So you're gonna grab your shot of vodka. Throw it in there. All right, now make sure your champagne is nice and chilled because I'm gonna put nice in this. Now if you need ice, you do that. And then we're gonna really vigorously shake it. And I'm over my sink. Oh yeah, that's nice and pink. Nice and pink, so 
So I'm gonna take my beautiful glass. See how nice and pink that is? So if you don't have pink lemonade and you have regular lemonade, there you go. And if you don't like lemonade, do it with seltzer. Why not? And you're gonna pour that into the glass and then you're gonna grab your nice champagne that we're celebrating my engagement with. My fiance's gave me a thumbs up. So I got a lot of champagne for congratulatory uh, when I got engaged and I haven't drank any of them. Pop. And then we just simply fill the glass. Now, I love champagne, so that's why I did a bigger glass. And then if you really want to be all sorts of fancy, drop a couple fresh berries in there, and then you can even, let's see if I can do this well for you guys. And there is your pink elephant. That looks good. It is yummy. <laughs> he just said that looks good. So here's your drink. Let me know how you guys like it. Um, and let me know what you want to drink next week. If we do it next week or for the next time we do it, send us some things you want to see. I used to be a bartender, but now I'm a different kind of bartender. Ha, ha, ha. Um, no, but let me know what you want um, and we can make it for you and we can have a lot of fun. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stick around. Seven o'clock. So in 15 minutes or so, stay here. You're already going to get a little liquored up, right? So you can move those dancing feet because we have tango next at 7. And I will see you guys sometime next week. Love you guys. I miss you. I will see you soon. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye. Tequila Sunrise. I got you. I love tequila. <laughs>